Hi everyone, it's Agnes. I've got another relationship success story for you. So it's from D, as in the letter D, because she'd prefer to be anonymous. So I am from India, my name is D. I'm 32, so I've never had a stable, steady relationship in my life when N showed up. I was so elated, for me this was it. He meant the world to me and vice versa, but both of us didn't have stable jobs since I'm a freelancer and he as well. And he wanted to get a stable job in order to take the relationship to the next level. As I was too excited and told the whole world about it, he was a little hesitant in telling people, but his parents did like me a lot and we were insisting him and were they were insisting him to get married to me. We used to fight a lot since he wanted to get more stable and since I'm 32 I wanted to settle down. In India a girl is generally married by 26 and he is three years younger so he wanted to work on his business and with me around he couldn't do it. I used to complain that he's not paying enough attention to me plus he was depressed because he was unable to get stable. So he called it quits. I was deeply hurt. I pinned him for three months. I think you mean pined. I was deeply hurt and I pined for him for three months. We broke up in September. After that I kept getting job offers one after the other through the jobs and they were very tiring. I took it in order to keep myself busy. In October he messaged me on my birthday saying I didn't want to message you because I don't want to ruin your life and you're better off without me and I sh that I should find someone who is stable who will keep you happy. I told him that I still loved him and he was shocked that I didn't move on so we did start exchanging texts once in a blue moon and at that time I was doing your meditations. Meditation for self-love, meditation for first best and the whispering technique, meditation to radiate love to your special person, meditation for first best and a romantic evening with a specific person, Abraham Hicks practice what you want by ignoring it. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Practice what you want by ignoring it. I guess it's ignoring the negative situation of not being together. I think that's what you mean. Create your future by Amanda. Everyone is you pushed out. I mostly listed to your self love meditation as I was concentrating. Listed that I think is supposed to say listening. I mostly listened to your self love meditation as I was concentrating on my self-love and I did yoga, Zumba, lost weight, kept the meditations going, healing myself, meeting friends, going out for parties. In January he called to wish me a happy new year and for the first time in ages I did not feel like a clingy thing to him as I was okay. I had left everything to the universe. If he was mine, he would come around and I knew I deserved a strong person who could take care of all my needs and also be stable. Right enough, on the 14th of Jan, he told me on a text that he still misses me and he still loves me like crazy. He also told me that he started his own business and he was feeling much confident and he noticed certain changes in me that was positive and he wanted to see me. Now I had scripted this that he would come to my house and we would have a nice dinner and some wine and guess what everything I wrote came true every word. He came home with a bottle of wine, flowers, food. I called him Santa. Note he has never given me flowers ever while we were dating so he did not believe in gifting flowers. I was about to lose consciousness with the amount of love he was showering on me. We had an amazing evening. He was supposed to leave early in the morning to go back home, but he did not want to leave. He stayed back that day as well. I was overwhelmed. Now we are officially dating. I'm also doing your self-love meditations and sending love to you specific person meditations. Thank you, Agnes. You don't know what you mean to me. You are a godsend. Thanks a million. Fantastic. D, D, I just want to say one thing. There is something you said here. This is why I was a little bit hesitant. I deserved a strong person who could take care of all my needs. Okay, be mindful of that. Someone is not there to look after all your needs. Okay, you are. Okay, I just want to say that because if you come from that place, it ends up 
that you put too much pressure on someone. Doesn't matter if you're married, dating, engaged, it you just please be mindful of that, okay? <laughs> People, you have to meet your own needs because you're adults, okay? It's fine if someone gives you stuff, but be mindful of that little thing, okay? So I just couldn't let that one go today. <laughs> All right, so I also want to say Kwana, who I interviewed, she I did her YouTube setting, helping her set up her YouTube channel. She's got a lovely song. I'm going to put it down in the description. And she's singing Ain't No Sunshine by Bill Withers. So that is there for those of you that want to listen to a viewer doing her creative thing. All right, lots of love. And I will see you, as always, in the next YouTube.